السلام عليكم Welcome to Smile to Jannah Smile to Jannah I know what you guys been thinking Why isn't he uploaded anything on Tarawi? Well, because I've been fasting And it's very tiring Better late than never though, yeah? <laughs> yes I'm gonna start off first with the annoying things that I've seen in Tarawi Have a look-see The first group of people are known as the swingers These guys when they're praying, they don't even stand still Maybe they're enjoying the recitation Or maybe they're just trying to annoy me And the beauty is that when they're swinging, they start rubbing against you as well Bro, I'm concentrating, I don't want someone rubbing against me for a duration of one and a half hours It's hot I've been fasting all day, I'm hungry, I don't want someone doing a rubber de rub rub next to me. If you're a swinger, stop it. Next is the reciter. Now this brother, what he does is you'll be standing next to him in the shoe section, shoe section, shoe section, shoe section. <laughs> and what happens is, he starts correcting the Imam all the way from there. Me, he can't hear you. Stop correcting him. You don't have super sound that you can make sound travel to the Imam, mate, yeah? And another thing that he does is, randomly, he starts reciting when he recognizes a few verses. Mate, mashallah, your recitation's good. But I've come to listen to the Imam, mate. Not you, yeah? And the third types of people are the burpers. These people fill up at iftar, and then they go and stand next to me and burp. And it's not just a regular burp, they burp and they blow. <laughs> oh, it's a skill up. Enjoy that. Hey, <laughs> brother in Islam. If you can't tolerate your own burp, why are you blowing it to me? The next type of people are the sweaty Simons. These people, mashallah, have been at work all day and they come and mashallah, I can smell the fact that they've been at work and at school. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to be able to do that. If you've been at work, mashallah, excellent. Go home and use something called a natar. <laughs> you know what that is? I don't think you do, brother. <laughs> I've got three words for these brothers. Atar. Use it. Mate, these guys can't even keep still. He'll be scratching, he'll be moving, he'll be stretching, he'll be massaging, he'll be clicking. It's not clicking. You get the point now. And he'll be cleaning. I've got one sentence for you brothers. Bro, you're in Salah. Not in a salon, yeah? Now that we've talked about the five annoying things in Tarawi, let's talk about the five amazing things that I've seen in Tarawi. Number one, you'll see brothers that you hardly ever see in the masjid during Tarawi time. There's an amazing, indescribable feeling in Tarawi of unity because everyone's coming to fulfill this sunnah together. And number three is the dedication of our fellow Muslim brothers. Some will be coming from work, some from school, some from their couch. <laughs> Wherever they're coming from, they're coming. Quran is the center of attention and the people who have learnt it are the heroes of the Tarawih nights. And number five, the generosity of the Muslims when it comes to the various charities that come to collect on these nights. Mashallah. So those were the five annoying things about Tarawi and five amazing things about Tarawi. If you've got a few things to add of your own, leave a comment in the description below. And if you ain't praying Tarawi, bro, you're missing out. Until next time, Salamu Alaikum.